I got this at Francesca's for $2.50 and it's a beautiful jumpsuit. I actually really, really like it, but it's too big because it's a small and I'm normally an extra small. So I'm gonna try it on and show you guys what it looks like on. Okay, well, let me grab a chair. So kind of the most glaring issue is the crotch seam is like, a, like probably like five, six inches too long. And so like hangs really weird okay another thing is these the hips however they sewed it and they like angled it here and then went straight so it's not smooth it's also way too long but that's like an easy fix and then the top is just a little too tight this is what the back looks like it's like see-through so you're gonna have to re-put on elastics to tighten it up just because it's just a tad too big. It's not like glaringly big, but yes. Also, the waist is way too big in this. Yeah, it like gaps in the back, so it ends up making like this part really saggy underneath the boobs. This is like a better angle of the crotch. My crotch ends right here. See that? Like, like when you balk, it's like, yeah, you see that? Isn't that just gross? <laughs> That's basically what I need to do. Basically tighten everything overall, shorten the crotch, Hem the leg again. Let's go ahead and get started. So here's what the back situation is. It's connected with three little buttons and elastic hoops and then a zipper that is not invisible. I don't know why they didn't use an invisible zipper. So I'm gonna replace this with an invisible zipper and then I'm gonna take in the back. So I think I'm gonna take in about an inch on either side of this and then probably because this one's a little bit more elastic, probably like an inch and a half on either side. So three inches total here, two inches total here and then work on the crotch. So I just did something that I knew wouldn't work, but I wanted to try anyway. Basically, I just went into the crotch and sewed just a straight line down the leg so I could take the crotch in, right? And I knew it wouldn't work because when you do a straight line, you get rid of the curve going into your crotch. And so what ends up happening is you get this like V shape, which is something that you definitely don't want in a jumpsuit. The back looks like perfectly fine, but I just wanted to make sure that the length that I wanted to take out was right. And it's looking like I need to take out like an additional inch or so. So I'm gonna just seam rip what I just did because obviously you don't want your crotch looking like this. And then I'm probably gonna rip apart both legs and yeah. Okay, let's just go ahead and get started. So what I did was I just went into the crotch and I took out, I think it's like an inch and a half or two inches. I just did a straight stitch all the way down into the leg inseam. You don't want to do this because I don't know if you can see this, but a pant leg is always curved going into the crotch because if you don't have that curve, it's going to have those like Vs plus the shape of your crotch is like, it's just, there has to be a curve, right? And so when you put this straight stitch in, you get rid of that curve and that's what creates kind of the V shape that was happening earlier. And all I was doing was making sure that I had the right distance. I probably want to go up half an inch because it was just still a little too baggy. Now I'm going to go ahead and seam rip this out and readjust the pattern. So I went ahead and cut the crotches apart just because the back crotch is a little longer than the front crotch. Crotch? Crotch? Crotch. The back crotch is a little bit longer than the front crotch and I didn't want to deal with that so I just cut it off, right? And then right here I went ahead and drew in another crotch seam. So I wanted to take two and a half inches from this so I measured two and a half inches and then kind of drew an artificial crotch seam. This is really as much as I could take out from here like this. So I probably have to make that up in the back. I do have to make it up, not probably. And in the back, I also need to take off about three inches from the waist. So I went ahead and just measured that and incorporated that into here, allowing for a deeper crotch area. So I'm gonna go ahead and sew those together and see how it looks. Okay, I went ahead, I sewed my marks in and the crotch fits like basically perfectly. I think this is as good as it's gonna get crotch wise because I didn't really have the ability to go in super far with the front seam. And so I think this is as good as it's gonna get. The waist fits perfectly, there's no gap in. There's very little wedgie. It's looking good. Honestly, I don't mind this kind of like spidery situation over here. As long as it's not like a straight V, I'm okay with it. Very nice, I'm gonna go ahead and finish it off by surging all of my points. If there's anywhere where I sew it, I'm just gonna surge it so that it's nice and flat and everything. Went ahead and sewed the crotch together. It looks really, really nice. The waist has no gapping, fits perfectly. Yeah, there's loose threads everywhere, please ignore. The only kind of part that I'm not liking is up here. That's pretty easy fix. I can just do a quick stitch up there. And yes, the back is currently open. Like as you walk, it kind of comes up and does this sort of deal. But I honestly don't really care because like all pants do that. You can't really avoid that. 
especially with like stretchy fabric. I'm gonna go ahead and measure up the back, which is about here is where I want it, and then I'll straighten it up the whole way. So wait, let me mark that spot. Get a Crayola marker. You could use a fabric pen, but like I honestly could not be bothered to use a fabric pen. So I just use Crayola markers, and then when I'm done with the project, I just throw it in the wash. So I have the back finished. I just need to take out my white threads and stuff. That's just simple things to do at the end. Right now, I'm gonna go ahead and work on the top. So as you can see, it naturally kind of hits at that red point that I was marking earlier. And what I'm gonna do is fold it over like this, right on the red, as you can see, and then fold it under, and then do a straight stitch all the way down. I'm gonna do that for both sides. And then after that, I'm gonna take out my elastics and then take out my buttons and then sew my elastics on the same exact way and then hand sew my buttons on. Actually, I've decided against the elastics because these are just too small to sew on and plus the buttons are kind of cheap and ugly. So I think I'm just gonna hand sew like three hook and eyes on and then that's how I'm going to have the closure. I just finished hand sewing the hook and eye on. Not gonna lie, these stitches are like kind of janky and quite frankly horrible. <laughs> But honestly, I don't really care that much because it's the back. So, yes, I'm gonna put this on and show you guys what it looks like. Is the camera dirty? I should probably clean the camera. Let's clean the camera. Is it clean now? Okay, it's clean now. <laughs> okay. Here is the finished jumpsuit. It is super cute. I adore it. It fits literally perfectly now. The straps look a little weird on the back because they're kind of close together, but honestly, it doesn't really matter to me. I also still need to take out all of like the loose white strands. So yes, that is the first thrift flip. Psych, this video is too long. So there's only to be one, as I said before. What am I doing? Okay. Like, subscribe, comment, ring the bell. I don't even know what that means. I'm just saying things that other YouTubers say. Okay. Adios. Thank you for watching.